today we are seeing uh, the topic uh, example on the topic that is l hospitals rule so l hospitals rule is used to find out the limit of some particular function which is comes into the indeterminate forms let us see the first example here today the evaluate limit x tending to 0 the function is x cos x minus sin x upon x square sin x now we'll put the x equals to 0 and we'll see which form we'll get so if i put the x equals to 0 here x is 0 cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 this is 0 then again x is 0 sin 0 is 0 this is 0 by 0 form we have okay so whenever we are get the 0 by 0 form so l hospital uh, sorry l hospital rule is applicable for that 0 by 0 form particularly okay so in that l hospital rule what we do i differentiate the numerator separately and the denominator separately okay to get the function value so uh, what we do here and one more thing here if you see we are having the sin x in the denominator and x is tending to the 0 so we make some arrangement uh, because we have to take a, de a differentiation of the denominator so to make it simpler hum thoda sa arrangement karte hain jab bhi sin x ya fir tan x rahega aur agar x tending to 0 hai that time we make this arrangement okay so sin x mein hum x se divide karte hain x se multiply karte hain okay so that sin x by x x tending to 0 that will be what it is 1 the standard identity in the limits we are having okay so i multiply and divide by the x this will be the 1 and this quantity will be then it is what x cube so isi quantity ko humne is tarah se likha now it is easy to find out the differentiation of the x cube is it okay now further i just mentioned here limit x tending to 0 sin x by x equals to 1 this also can we can verify by the hospital's rule because if i put the 0 here sin 0 is 0 x is 0 it is in the 0 by 0 form and now i take the differentiation of the numerator that is sin x ka derivative cos x or x ka 1 then the cos 0 will be it is what 1 and hospital se bhi aap apply isko nikal sakte hain otherwise remember this identity that is limit x tending to 0 sin x by x is 1 and as well as limit x tending to 0 tan x by x is also 1 now after getting this one apply the hospital's rule i take the differentiation of the numerator it is x first function cos x ka derivative minus sin x then plus uske baad first function ka derivative 1 cos x as it is sin ka derivative cos x cos x get cancelled we are left with the quantity x sin minus sin x and x cube ka derivative is what 3x square 1 x get cancelled here sin x by x is left and we are having the limit x tending to 0 so sin x by x is what it is what just 1 so what is left here minus 1 by 3 so this is the required limit value for this function is it clear so this we have found out by the l hospital's rule now next example we are having this one we'll see here limit x tending to 0 a to the power x b to the power x plus c to the power x upon 3 to the power 1 by x now we take uh, whenever we, uh, we are having to the power uh, some function so that time we take y equals to the given limit function after that we take the logarithm to both the side jab bhi power mein rahega because jo power mein quantity hai usko hum multiplication mein leke aate hai okay for that i take the logarithm to both the side so humne log liya do, both side mein that will be log y log of this quantity apply the logarithmic property we know that log of a to the power b is nothing but b log a by using the logarithm property so this 1 by x comes here in the multiplication of log of this quantity and this quantity i write log in the numerator and x in the denominator now i put x equals to 0 here then x 0 put up karenge a to the power 0 1 b to the power 0 1 c to the power 0 1 it is 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 3 by 3 is 1 and log 1 is 0 x we are tending to 0 that is x is 0 so we get the 0 by 0 form okay or humne agar yaha pe put up kiya 0 so humme konsa form milega dekho a to the power 0 is 1 b to the power 0 is 1 c to the power 0 is 1 it is 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 3 by 3 is 1 1 to the power if i put the 0 here 1 by 0 is infinity 1 to the power infinity this is also not defined it is an indeterminate form so that's why we are solving this way taking logarithm to both the side and converting the equation to the 0 by 0 form because the allospitals rule we can apply kar sakte sirf 0 by 0 mein is mein hum convert kiya uske baad we take the differentiation of the numerator separately and the denominator separately x ka derivative it is 1 that is written here then the derivative of log here it is 1 upon the quantity 
देन द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ ए टू द पावर एक्स इट इज ए टू द पावर एक्स लॉग ए बी टू द पावर एक्स का डिफ्रेंसिएशन बी टू द पावर एक्स लॉग बी प्लस सी टू द पावर एक्स लॉग सी एंड वी आर हैविंग इट इज वन बाई थ्री इज ऑलरेडी वी हैव रिटर्न ईयर नाउ वी पुट द एक्स एज जीरो बिकॉज लिमिट एक्सटेंडिंग टू जीरो वी आर हैविंग सो ए टू द पावर जीरो वन बी टू द पावर जीरो वन सी टू द पावर जीरो वन वन प्लस वन प्लस वन थ्री बाय थ्री इट इज वन सो इट इज वन बाय वन दिस इज वन कंप्लीटली वन बाई थ्री ए टू द पावर जीरो वन दिस इज लॉग ए बी टू द पावर जीरो वन लॉग बी सी टू द पावर जीरो वन दिस इज लॉग सी सो वी आर हैविंग लॉग ए प्लस लॉग बी प्लस लॉग सी विथ वन बाय थ्री अगेन अप्लाई द लॉग एथमिक प्रॉपर्टी दिस लॉग ए प्लस लॉग बी प्लस लॉग सी कैन बी रिटर्न एज लॉग ऑफ ए बी सी ओके दिस वन बाय थ्री वी टेक टू दी अप अगेन अप्लाई द लॉग एथमिक प्रॉपर्टी दिस वन बाय थ्री गोज अप नो टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी आर हैविंग लॉग ए दिस इज द लॉग ऑफ ए बी सी टू दी पावर वन बाय थ्री हमको लॉग हटाना है तो वी टेक द एक्सपोनेंशियल टू बोथ द साइड विल नॉट टेक द एंटी लॉग ओके वी टेक द एक्सपोनेंशियल टू बोथ द साइड सो दैट ई रेस टू द पावर लॉग विल गेट कैंसल वी आर लेफ्ट इज पॉर वॉट इज इट इट इज वाई सो वाई इक्वल टू इट विल बी देन ए बी सी टू द पावर वन बाय थ्री लॉग विल वैनेज टू बोथ द साइड ओके इट इज नॉट कैंसलिंग ए बी सी टू द पावर वन बाय थ्री एंड ए बी सी टू द पावर वन बाय थ्री इज नथिंग बट द क्यूब रूट ऑफ इट इज ए बी सी and why we are having as a that given quantity that we have taken so we have got the limit for that particular function when extending to zero so this way we apply the elos peters rules to find out the it is value of the function that is the limit of a particular function okay thank you